good for you and turning on your TV and here we are again in the kitchens of KCTS 9 Cooks and I know you got busy schedules you're like I don't want to miss anything good reason to pick up that DVD uh, yeah go ahead and call us and get that cookbook as well on the side that's the theme this time around here at KCTS 9 Cooks hi to our wonderful viewers and supporters of West Seattle with all the road construction you've been dealing with what a natural for you to spend more time at home and start creating recipes so there's a positive one proof of that our next guest viewer who has a wonderful recipe, potato, mushroom, and leek rattan. Kim Walton of Seattle is with us here. Welcome. Hi, thank you. And it probably took you two hours to get here from <laughs> Seattle, but it's going to be worth it because you have this wonderful recipe. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. This is fun. How so, should we begin this? Well, we're going to start with the mushrooms because mm -hmm. this takes a little time to... Okay. We'll, uh, so in this pan we have butter oil and, and butter. Oil. And, and um, lots of my favorite things yeah. here. Yeah, with mushrooms, onions, Leaks, butter, yeah. Gotta potatoes. have it. So, <laughs> Those will sort of melt down just a little bit. Okay. And while that's happening, I'm going to cut the, the leek here. And um, to clean a leek, you've got to be really careful because they can be pretty gritty. And they grow in sand, so you want to be sure to yeah. not get any of that sand in your finished dish. So a lot of times I'll cut it in half and peel everything back and then just run water down. Or I'll slice it up and put it in my salad spinner, you know. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So um, and we just need to slice this. So you, and you just want the light green part, right? Light green, yeah. I save the uh, the tops for stock and yeah, they're very flavorful, um, great for stock. And you just throw them in the freezer. Yeah. And there uh, we go. What was the discovery on this recipe? For you? <laughs> um, well, I, I cooked the potatoes on the stove top a, a little ahead of time uh -huh. to. Um, get the, the liquid to thicken up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, the number of times I made gratin where you know, the potatoes were sort of half cooked and the, it was really watery. Oh, wow. uh -huh. So this sort of thickens up on the stove top before I um, um, put it in the oven. Okay. So that, that sort of helps with that. All right. So and is this a recipe you've known through family, or how'd you find no. this recipe? Oh, I made it up. You made uh, it up. Yes. Very good. We love I, that. <laughs> I do a lot on TV uh, channels and watch mm -hmm. TV cooking, and then Epicurious. And so I just sort of put things together that I thought might be good. Yeah, I like this too. You know, she's got glasses on top of her head. We thought, well, you, you need them. She goes, it keeps my hair back yeah, so I can yeah, see yeah. what I'm doing. It's, it's a, a hair great accessory. Idea. Hair accessory. You need the glasses so you can see what you're doing. Keep the hair out of her eyes. I love it. So. um for time, I'm just going to go ahead and put these in. So we will sure. cook these down a bit. Yeah, more. You, you need these to melt down, get some of the liquid out. Right. And same with the um, leeks, and on the bottom here, we also have some onions. Okay. I'm not going to put all of these in because I don't think we have room. How about if we do you, round half? Yeah. I love leeks. They're so good, aren't they? They're really they sweet are. and. Oh, and when they're cooked slowly, yeah. they get all caramely. Yeah. And these are all easy to find. Oh yeah. Like supermarket yeah, definitely. Stores. And how's that look? Beautiful. Okay. We'll just get rid of that because we just don't have time. Okay, so um, usually I do this all in one pan. Mm -hmm. um, start with the leeks and the mushrooms and then this is just a little salt and pepper that we can okay. put in. Okay. And then about half of this garlic, the other half will go in the potatoes. And so we just have that melt down just a little bit. And um, probably takes about 15 minutes to get all of this cooked down. Mm -hmm. And then um, we can start on the potatoes. Okay. So you want to slice the potatoes about an eighth of an inch thick. Any particular kind of potato? Please? I love Yukon Gold. Me too. You know, that's my favorite potato. Um, and they're so easy to find yeah, now. Mm -hmm. They are. Uh, you now you could do a mandolin if you had one that would adjust. Most of my mandolins are not the adjustable kind, so mm -hmm. they're really thin. So this one I, I just will cut just so it's about an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. And it's always a little tricky when you get to the end. <laughs> I don't want to lose my finger. No, 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 no. And so, um, just get rid of that. And so we can put these in the next pot. Well, it's, okay. we're going to put a little cream in here first. All right. Let me Put that in carefully. And now we just dump. Already preheated. It's we just dump in. Okay, so we've got cream in there. So I've got three bay leaves and um, some thyme. Just put it all put in. That right in there. And this is salt, pepper, and chili powder. Mmm, chili powder. The secret ingredient. Yeah. Just to give it a little zip, and then some more garlic. And the rest of the garlic. Yeah. 
As we prepare the side dish here, what are we thinking of? It would be teamed up with something like what? Well, we use this a lot um, on Easter with ham. Ooh, pork, yes. Pork, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> pork loin. Okay. Um, Even a roast chicken. Or, yeah. Yes, a roast chicken. Right. Yeah, yeah. Any sort of roast meat with this yeah. would be just lovely. Yeah. Now, is this something that you can prepare ahead? Um, I actually I have because I did it for today. I did this last night, mm -hmm. and when you see the finished product, um, I had everything except the cheese, and um, put it put it in, in a casserole dish, and mm -hmm. today bake them out after mm -hmm. putting the cheese and the, and the chives on top. And so what you'll do is you just simmer this, uh, the potatoes, mm -hmm. and as the cream or the half and half um, simmers down, it will reduce. You want it to reduce in about half. Some of the starch from the potatoes will also come out and right, thicken, it up. thicken it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you can't do, don't walk away. Okay. This scorches like you wouldn't believe. That was my next question. What are we watching for that we yeah. don't want to blow it on here? <laughs> yeah. okay. um, I've ruined a few dishes because I uh, had the heat just a little too high mm -hmm. and um, didn't stir it quite soon enough. Okay. And so how do we know when these are cooked to the point of so proceeding you, with the recipe? You want them to where they're soft but not fully cooked. Not quite cooked. Yeah. Through. Okay. So you put a fork in and it's still kind of soft. Okay. So I usually cover it up, keep stirring it, mm -hmm. and if we want we can move on to the to Okay, the next. so we're going to do a quick TV magic yeah. thing mm -hmm. here. So you're watching this potato mushroom and leek gratin. Remember how it's all cook, cooking down? Even the even the pan got right. smaller. Yeah. Here we go. And yeah. this is what it looks so like when it's done. This is Beautiful. this is what I did earlier, and um, as you see how much it reduces. Yeah, yeah it has. But you can actually down. get it. Yeah, when you get okay, it. Okay. So what are we gonna do and next? And now, if if you want to show the potatoes. And we have potatoes in oh, wow. here. Um, can I bring these? Yeah, over to you? I think that's probably the best here. I'm going to move that. There you go. So the thing that you have to remember also is pull out those bay leaves. Oh, yeah. Nobody wants to eat those. And the, um, the thyme, thyme strips. Yes. So I always put in three bay leaves, so I'm looking for three. Sometimes I'm actually it's having like to... It's like the sponge count, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Exactly. Make a game with the kids. And Who um, can find the bay leaves? Because that would sort of be a little... Um, um, Anticlimactic. John, John, yes. <laughs> so okay, so we'll look for the rest of those when you pour it into it. the dish. So what what I fish. do is I just spoon half of it in. And let's see how much I can actually get in the bowl and not on the counter. So this is a layered dish. It, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. I There's, see got it. Thank you so found much. It. You win the prize, okay. Carol. Okay. So one couple more spoonfuls, and we'll just. The top part's a little easier because oh, wow. you can just dump. Uh huh. Okay, but you see how thick it's gotten, yeah, and really how. Thick. And then you just take. Okay, and then this goes on next. As you're looking at that, you can just imagine the, the aroma that's coming with this. And, you and just, just dump it on top. Oh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. then that does deserve it. Oh. We can actually throw in the cream cheese here. Okay. And all you have to do is just Mash so it up soften it, bit. soften it down a little bit, mm -hmm. because it will. Um, I keep it out for a couple hours just to get to room temperature, mm -hmm. and it mixes really easily. Great. Okay, and now right on top. Thank you. Oh, if you could. Super. There we go. Thank you so much. Oh, one, you can't this escape. One it's, it's trying yeah. to escape, but you right. can't hide. Miami, that girl. There we go. And so we just spread this out. And then we're going to top that with your cheeses, right? Yeah. And sometimes I put cheese, uh, layer some cheese um, after the um, um, leeks and mushrooms mm -hmm. sometimes, like today. I think it's not. And then, so that's a Gruyere, and then this is um, Parmesan. Mm. Now you can use any kind. Sure. Um, uh, okay. Asiago. And then into the oven. And then some chives on top. Got to have the earrings. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That goes we're in. gonna bake this off. 
and then add a little magic of science here. <laughs> we have the finished dish. I think it's alive. Ooh, it is go. alive. Again, more great help from our viewers here. There we are. Sometimes challenging decisions about what to do for a side dish, you know, more than just salad in a roll. Okay, yeah. and here's another one that Kim Walton of West Seattle sharing with us here. So look at that. Wonderful okay. dish. Okay, are we ready to taste one? Potato, Let's mushroom, and leek gratin is ready for the, the official taste. <laughs> okay. Does it look like everything worked out? Yeah. Okay. I always have to ask that to viewers, like, okay, cooks just like it did at home. <laughs> here we are. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Excellent. Wow. Well, Excellent. Another need I for the family. I can see that with ham. With the yeah. chicken. Yeah, mm -hmm. ham. What side dishes mm -hmm. choice do we have with ham? Mm -hmm. Here, add it on the list. The cookbook, the DVD. That's how you find out these great ideas from wonderful viewers like this one right here. Kim Walton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Call us at 1-800-443-1999 or website kcts9.org. You're enjoying you, KCTS thank 9 you. Cooks thank you. Thank you. on the side. Side dishes are what it's all about this time around. Stay with us. Another recipe coming right up. Thank you.